Colleagues, it's uh, with a great uh, privilege I have today to carry House Concurrent Resolution 32 on behalf of our former leader, the Speaker of the House, Lynn Lundquist, who passed away suddenly uh, just recently. Um, I know many of you in here uh, know Speaker Lundquist. Um, I am uh, very uh, honored to have our former Speaker Dave Hunt here with us uh, on this occasion uh, as well. And, uh, and thank you, uh, Speaker Hunt, for coming. Um, Lynn Lundquist was my constituent, uh, my neighbor, and my friend. Um, and uh, his family is here today, and I just wanted to introduce him uh, as we memorialize the life of a great Oregonian. Um, his wife of 42 years, uh, Barbara, if you could stand, Barbara, um, is here with us. Uh, some of his children, Bob, who's in the back, his son, um, Barbie, uh, who's here, and uh, there's his daughter-in-law, Kim, uh, his grandson, Declan. Um, we've got, um, sorry, Brenda, sorry, uh, is here as well. Um, we've got friends in the back who've come here. Um, uh, Marie and Art Fox are here, who uh, I believe somewhere. Um, we also have uh, Jennifer Patterson, his granddaughter, is here. So it is a, a, a privilege to get to um, share with you this memorial, um, which captures our heart uh, for uh, your husband, your father, your grandfather, who uh, meant so much to us. So thank you for being here. Uh, but Lynn Lundquist uh, was born in November of 1934, and he was uh, unique, to say the least. His self-effacing humor uh, was wonderful. He used to uh, use that Abe Lincoln joke that said, if I really was true-faced, why would I, or two-faced, why would I wear this one? And uh, he was always uh, talking uh, in a way that left you with a smile. Uh, his, his own smile was contagious, as we all remember him. Uh, and if you didn't get a chance to personally know him, he always had a smile. He was, uh, he was tireless. In fact, uh, 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 when he passed, he was 78. And, uh, and who knew? He had the energy of a man half his age. Um, and uh, he, uh, in fact, one of uh, the great scenes I remember is uh, after a town hall in Powell Butte, um, I was uh, helping put away chairs and then got distracted uh, talking to constituents. I look back and there is Speaker Lundquist mopping the floor at the Powell Butte Community Center, and that was sort of his personality. He just kept working uh, and he was fantastic. Um, uh, in how he always did it with an attitude we would all want to aspire to. He was uh, educated at Oregon State University. He had a master's degree from the University of Connecticut, and he taught uh, as a professor economics at George Fox. Um, so even though he tried to always claim he was just a Pal Butte farmer, uh, he was really quite educated um, and way smarter than people uh, knew, I think after you dealt with him for a while, you realized he was quite uh, crafty. Um, he uh, was tireless, as I said, in his service, uh, serving as a board of director at the Special Olympics, uh, as CARE Oregon, uh, the Children's Institute. He served at the uh, Budget Committee of Yamhill County. Uh, he was uh, on the American Leadership Council. Uh, he was a 4-H leader. Um, he uh, served in the Future Farmers of America. Uh, he was uh, the president of the Oregon Cattlemen's Association, served on the State Board of Agriculture, one of the founding members of the Oregon Business Association. One of the things I do remember him uh, very well was during the Great Recession, where no county really was hit harder than my county of Crook County. We had the highest unemployment. It was very desperate. And uh, uh, Lynn came out of retirement, of course. I used to laugh at him and say, uh, uh, you know, he, his, uh, he would always say I came out of retirement. Of course, he never retired. He just was tirelessly working. But he uh, became our county commissioner uh, and really led us through the most difficult time we've had in our county in a long time. 
Uh, and as a result, he uh, advocated for and kept some basic programs going. He helped organize outreach. Our church uh, did uh, a lot of uh, food distribution during the time, uh, paying heating bills of uh, people in Crook County. Lynn was involved in all that, and no one ever knew, and it was very unassuming as he did it. Um, but, uh, uh, but most importantly, more than everything else, he was a husband. Uh, 42 years. When I think of all the trials marriages go through, um, to be married for 42 years, uh, Barbara, is just an amazing uh, thing today to have someone uh, be married that long. But to be married to a guy who was in politics, and I mean, I think of all the things you've had to endure of just basically having to say goodbye. And I, I just think how many times you've had to say goodbye to Lynn as he uh, left the door to get into his uh, vehicle for another trip uh, to serve Oregon it was uh, uh, really a sacrifice that no one can really truly understand but yourself. Um, uh, to his family, I'd like to say that uh, uh, we know you miss your dad and uh, we miss him. And you've had to say uh, again to see him gone a lot. And uh, I grew up with sort of a taskmaster father, so I would imagine <laughs> Uh, what you guys endured at times when I uh, had not seen him and then he was immediately out doing chores. And uh, so it's hard, um, but uh, he meant a lot to Oregon. Uh, he was our leader as Speaker of the House uh, and led us in a very important time. Um, so we memorialize him today and you can read it. Um, you know, it, uh, I'd finish by saying this. Uh, Lynn Lundquist, in my opinion, was never unavailable to those in need. Uh, he was never without a smile to those he helped who were in need. He will never be forgotten for his leadership to Oregon when we were in need. Colleagues, I urge passage of uh, HCR 32. Thank you.